Welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll be exploring the reasons behind Macaulay Calkins' decision to retire from acting at a young age. From his early success as a child actor to his personal struggles and challenges, we'll dive into the events that led up to his retirement and discuss what he's been up to since. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and let's dive into the fascinating story of Macaulay Calkins. In the bustling city of New York, a young actor by the name of Macaulay Culkin rose to fame with a performance that captured the hearts of audiences around the world. As a child actor, Culkin achieved a level of success that many could only dream of, starring in some of the most iconic films of the 90s. But despite his early success, Culkin ultimately made the decision to retire from acting at a young age, leaving behind a career that many saw as limitless. It all started in 1988, when Culkin made his film debut in Rocket Gibraltar. From there, he quickly climbed the ladder of success, starring in popular films such as Uncle Buck, My Girl, and The Good Son. But it was his role as Kevin McAllister in the blockbuster hit Home Alone that truly cemented his place in Hollywood. As the lovable and resourceful young hero who fends off burglars with a series of elaborate traps, Culkin captured the hearts of audiences everywhere. Home Alone became a cultural phenomenon, grossing over $476 million at the box office and spawning several sequels. With his charming good looks and undeniable talent, it seemed that the sky was the limit for Culkin. He was one of the highest paid child actors in Hollywood, with a net worth of over $17 million by the age of 17. He had the world at his fingertips, with endless opportunities and a bright future ahead. But unfortunately, as with many child actors, he was one of many show business victims who became famous when they are young and are figuratively exploited by their parents because they are ill-equipped to protect them from a weird and cruel atmosphere that is detrimental to their development. Even though everyone adored him, it's well documented that Culkin's relationship with his father, Christopher Kit Culkin, also a stage actor from a very young age, was not always a happy one. His father, Kit, who acted as his son's manager and from the age of four showed him no mercy and took advantage of his success to harass him with contracts, compelling him to do eight movies in five years. When he finally refused to continue, he decided to emancipate himself from his family. My father was jealous of me. He was a bad guy, an abuser. Everything he had tried to get throughout his life, I got before I was 10 years old, Macaulay Culkin said. The family had no mandatory attendance requirements and had grown up in a modest Manhattan railroad flat. The older siblings never completed high school, and with Macaulay's millions, their father was able to move them to New York City to purchase a lavish residence in the Upper East Side. The actor described what it was like to have a poisonous connection with an abusive father during this interview from 2018, something that his brother Kieran, who also appeared in numerous films but didn't enjoy Macaulay's fame, verified. My father had a giant bed and he made me sleep with my brother on the couch, the actor revealed. So when they were able to decide who they wanted to live with, they chose to live with their mother. The brothers claimed that when their disobliging father wasn't around, everything was better. The star requested his father to cease signing contracts between 1990 and 1994 because he needed to take a vacation for the first time. In five years, he produced eight films. But in addition, the father kept bringing the other kids to castings. A few years later, excessive celebrity as he entered his teenage years, Culkin started to experience legal issues with his parents, which were primarily brought on by the control of the money he had made from employment. He then filed legal claims alleging that his enormous profits had been improperly managed. While Macaulay's mother received custody of the Culkin children, the child celebrity also barred his parents from managing his enormous wealth. Later, he was detained for possessing drugs. He also experienced the scandal surrounding his tumultuous association with Michael Jackson, who is alleged to have sexually assaulted him as a youngster. 
and about that, I am sure you would want to know the full story of how things went down with Michael Jackson. Okay, I will tell you guys some things about that and how Culkin was involved. When Jackson was charged with assaulting a young boy in 1993, the first reports of sexual abuse against him surfaced. In 1994, the case was resolved. As part of the settlement, Jackson refused to admit any improper acts, but he did agree to pay the child's family an estimated $23 million, with $5 million going to their attorneys. Culkin participated in Jackson's defense at the time and at the age of 10 defended the celebrity on CNN. Jackson, who passed away in 2009, adamantly rejected the allegations throughout his life. In 2005, he was cleared of charges that included seven counts of child molestation. When asked about Jackson now, Culkin stuck to his own experience without wavering. He said to Esquire, Look, I'm going to start with the truth, not a line. He never did anything to me. He did nothing that I observed. I would have no reason to hold anything back, especially at this crucial moment. The person has passed away. If anything, now is as good a time to speak up. I'm not going to say it would be fashionable or anything like that. And I would definitely speak out if I had something to say. But no, I never witnessed anything and he never took any action. So apparently, Culkin defended Jackson, but after seven charges, do you really think he is free from all of it? Let us know what you think in the comment section. All right, that's about the Jackson Culkin short story. So when Macaulay Culkin was just 14 years old, four years after the release of Home Alone, Macaulay totally banned his parents from having access to his riches, declared his independence, and quit working on the 1994 film Richie Rich, which had only a little popularity. The pressure and intensity of the entertainment industry took their toll on Culkin. As he grew older, he found himself struggling to adapt to the demands of the industry and maintain his place at the top. The constant attention and scrutiny from the media and paparazzi proved to be overwhelming as he struggled to maintain a sense of privacy and normalcy in his personal life. So he decided to retire in 1994 when he was 14 years old. In the years since his retirement, Culkin has pursued other interests and passions, including music. He has formed a band and released several albums and has made occasional appearances on television and in film. In fact, during one of his concerts at a Broadway venue, he and his brother Kieran saw their father Kit looking tattered and even suffering from a stroke. He ignored him as if he was a total stranger and said, F him, since he did not care about him, why should he care about his father now? Macaulay was forced to live primarily at night without leaving his flat and entirely neglected as a result of all this scandal and the pressure of celebrity on his shoulders. But at this point, he met Brenda Song a young actress herself with whom he had his first kid, Dakota Song Culkin, who was born in April, 2021. In 2017, Macaulay and Brenda met while working on the set of Changeland in Thailand. Brenda, a Thai immigrant's daughter, began acting in toy advertisements when she was five years old. She made her film debut two years later, participating in various Disney Channel kid-friendly projects. Their shared struggle of growing up amid fame led to their closeness. Child actors can't talk about what it was like. We looked each other in the eye, nodded, and just know, Song said, a black belt in Taekwondo and a psychology and business graduate of UC Berkeley. Song and Culkin have been dating for five years. They have a daughter together, and they intend to wed soon. The couple is incredibly quiet about their relationship, though. Macaulay still avoids being in the spotlight. Brenda has a following of 2 million on Instagram, where she publishes pictures of herself wearing stunning gowns or with her dogs and cats, but they never post pictures of their daughter, Dakota. His connection with Brenda's emotional balance also had a positive impact on him and his work life. He joined the cast of the TV shows The Gemstone and Intergalactic this year after appearing in the series American Horror Story in 2021. 
Macaulay Culkin's impact on the entertainment industry will never be forgotten. As a child actor, he captivated audiences with his talent and charisma, and will always be remembered as one of the most beloved and iconic figures of his generation. Despite the difficulties he faced, Culkin remained grateful for the opportunities that his career had given him. He spoke fondly of his time on set and the relationships he had formed with his co-stars and crew members. But ultimately, he knew that it was time for him to move on and pursue other interests and passions. As he stepped away from acting and into the next phase of his life, Culkin left behind a legacy as one of the most beloved and iconic child stars of his generation. His performances will always be remembered and celebrated, and his impact on the entertainment industry will never be forgotten. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, be sure to leave a comment and let us know what you thought of the video. We love hearing from our viewers and appreciate your support. Until next time, take care.